Let's take a look at how we can make soloing of our uh, patterns in uh, Solaris. And until this one is fully implemented, this is kind of a workaround. So in other softwares like Maya and Katana, you can actually inside the um, like the materials, hit the button and you will see the pattern flat shader. So this is how I do it. First off, I'm making a uh, collect node. I'm um, in my case now here hooking up a Pixar constant and connecting whatever pattern or texture I want to solo. And outside here, after I have here a branch with my light here, uh, so I'm looking through this and I'm just making a material assignment node after this that I essentially assign to all of the underlying geo for this location. And I'm assigning this uh, solo uh, material here that is my constant when I just go here and click this button here and it will override and I can see here okay this is how my specular roughness look like maybe I want to go in here and tweak it so let's do that and let's say that we want to uh, make a Pixar, Pixar threshold for example insert this and look at the result in context here we want to dial this around to take a look here. Maybe we want to do something like this. This is our new look. And uh, I can now hit my, I have a bookmark set to three and that takes me days back and I can view this in context like this. And you can then go back, hit solo button here again and it will apply. Obviously you need to go and reconnect uh, this solo. Uh, if I hit jump back here to my, I just need to set another bookmark control one there. Uh, if you want to see, uh, for example, like the call map in context, oops, uh, you take the RGB, pipe it into the input, and now you will see the constant. So that's kind of a workaround. I hope um, we get a proper soling method straight from uh, Solaris, but uh, this is the way I do it at the moment. Okay, see you in the channel. Bye bye.